All right, guys, uh, what I got today for you is I'm gonna rerun this 400C. Of course, I don't have the 572 anymore because it's sold, but I'm gonna run this uh, 372 Pro Hole Swarmer, which is a 71cc saw, just like the 572 and the 372 x -Torp, 372 OE and all that kind of good crap. Needless to say, it's a 70cc saw. I'm gonna check the RPMs on it, make sure it ain't run too fat or too lean or whatever, so it's got a straight up chance and also uh, there's going to be no edits in this uh, I'm not going to run the same bar because I'd have to get one of the uh, slides to put in there the can and the bar adapter things and all that kind of crap but I am going to flip the chain out it's, they're both going to be running a 24 inch bar and uh, I know the bar box and the uni filter is only 400 but here's the deal it's a 66 cc saw 66 point something or 65 point something so I mean does that bark box and filter give it uh, five to six cc I don't know I, you know I wouldn't think so but we'll, you know we'll see and both solids are fairly new the, the 400 has had some uh, a little bit more runtime on it than the, uh, the 372 Pro has uh, but I ain't been trying to wear this saw out just just because of uh, no, it's a giveaway saw, but I do want to cut with it. And I'm going to cut with this. I'm going to do three cuts, just like always. Uh, first one, letting it just glide down. Uh, second one, applying pressure, as much pressure as I can, and it don't kill it out. And the third, I'm going to dog it in the best that I can with what I got. It ain't a very good setup, but it's just the wood I've got right now uh, here at the house. I've been doing some, uh, I'm going to do some premium firewood, and I'll show you that one at the end of it. Anyway, here we go. So. First, they're gonna cut that balked on me, which I, I need to have my glasses to throw up the truck. I'm being kind of lazy. There ain't no excuse for it, but it is what it is. My eyeball, not yours, so don't worry about it. That's what I'm getting at. I know I'm wearing shorts and hay dudes and all that cutting, but again, my legs, my feet, uh, you do you and I'll do me. How about that? You don't like it, close your eyes so I get done look at the time. You'll have to time it for me because I won't know the time until unless I go back and edit and I'm not going to do that. I'm going to upload it straight up. Uh, that way, can't nobody say that I uh, cheated. I heard that uh, oh so many times and man, I want to tell you something. These West Coast dogs are hurt. Extremely sharp. They will light you up if you ain't careful. I don't know if y'all see me changing this out. I'm like, let me look back here. 
I don't ever put the camera in like selfie mode or whatever you call it. Or not selfie mode, but you know, flipped it. I always use it like I'm holding the phone, you know. Uh, I just think it has a better picture. Yeah, all that kind of jazz. Uh, and again, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with the 372 or the 572. Uh, I'm just trying to show the power that the uh, the 400 does have. It's crazy, crazy. Uh, honestly, the uh, amount of power this dude this dude has. And uh, yes, it's got a bar boss, and yes, it's got a filter, but still, yet. Yeah. No pun intended. Still yet, <laughs> still yet, it's a uh, it's a powerhouse of a saw for the weight and what what they got going on for it. It just honestly is. Uh, still, I'm gonna have the 661 and the 592 out cutting here before long, and uh, that'll be exciting to see. Uh, I think so. Y'all stay tuned for me for that, and uh, well, that went on there like it was, like it was meant to. Uh, uh, you know, nobody has to tell you how proven the 372 is, you know. Uh, I could get on here and say that it's crap. It's not crap. I'm just saying there's options out there now that's uh, lighter and just uh, better, which I know this is old school edition, uh, knockoff Chinese clone, but to me these uh, Pro, uh, the Pro host formulas are about as close to, I uh, always do a, little, do a little of that number to make sure that I'm pretty good. The, the Pro whole swarma to me is about as, as close to uh, OE as you're gonna get. It, you know, they're a whole lot better than the blue saws, or I don't know about the blue saws because I've never had one, but they're a whole lot better than the, the kit saws, I will say that, because I do have a kit saw, and I'm not talking about the motor and all, which I'm supposing the motor is, because they're supposed to be using a Meteor pistons and cylinders and all that kind of crap and uh, basically if you get a rebuilt old school saw uh, majority of the time whoever's building it for you since there's you can't get parts for it anymore is going to be running that kind of a uh, parts in the saw even if it's in a Husqvarna cover but honestly the plastics on this and the trigger and the cover and everything is a uh, way above par I mean it, it, it you can't tell the difference other than the color between it and the uh, the original saws. The trigger assembly is way better than the kit saws. The plastic fits way better than the kit saws. Uh, to me, these pro saws, which are a little more money, but they're not much more than uh, Neotech, but they're a little more than the blue saws or a kit saw. You know, they're in the $400, $400 range, the steel and this one is, but to me, they're worth it because like say if you got an 066 and you need a new cylinder piston nine times out of ten it's going to have a meteor piston same with a 372 oe or it's going to have a highway cylinder and piston you know so same difference to me just different name so not bad so so all right let's uh start this i'm going to warm it up just a minute and i'm going to check the rpms make sure i'm not uh too fat too lean and uh that way it's got a, a fair run at it This thing ain't been started in probably uh, three weeks or better. I'm not having 
getting into was running Starting Island and, and does all that kind of stuff great. I had to do it a little bit for the factory because they have it set way rich. But other than that, it ain't bad. I like it.
will tell you, uh, that saw right there, that OE, even though it's whole swarm or whatever, it runs better than that 572 does. I don't care what anybody says, it cuts better. It's got a little more on to it to me. Uh, I couldn't lean on that quite as much as I could. The, the steel 400C and the 500I, I mean, you pull up on them dudes, I ain't gonna say as hard as you want to, but just about as hard as you want to, and they don't die out. Like, I, I about killed that out first thing, and I really wasn't applying that much pressure. And the chain's not hungry. I went back and fixed the rakers on them. So, uh, but all in all, it's a, it, it, it's a good feeling saw that whole Swarmer Pro is. Uh, I don't see a thing wrong with it. Uh, like I say, I, don't, I won't know the times because I'm gonna upload this straight up. And uh, y'all can tell me. Because uh, I, I didn't sandbag the last time, no matter what anybody thinks. And there at the first, like I've said before, it had different chains on it. But uh, at the end, they both had the steel chain on them. And the chain was a little hungry. And, and I found that the 500 series Huskies uh, don't like hungry chain. They like the rakers high. They like to be kept up on RPM. So that could have been why it cut a little slower. And two, you gotta remember, the smaller wood, sometimes the smaller saw is gonna win. So uh, this was a little bigger, bigger hunk of wood, a little tougher wood. So it, 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 it you know, it's uh, the bigger saw may pull out and beat win this time. So anyway, we'll catch you on the next one. I appreciate y'all. Uh, probably gonna upload this video right now. And uh, for the more, uh, Labor Day weekend, I, I try to do a video every day. And uh, I don't know if I'll have anything for you tomorrow. I've got some footage stored up. We'll see how I feel. We'll see if I edit it. And uh, if you like what you're seeing, like, subscribe, hit the bell. I appreciate everybody that's up so far. And uh, you know, I'm just a guy that likes running saws, likes tinkering with them, uh, likes cutting, likes cutting on trees and uh, making a little money doing it. Am I somebody that needs to be telling anybody else how to do it? No. Uh, and and most of us, like people out in YouTube world that watch YouTube and comment on all all these channels, I've seen comments on various other channels. Uh, want to critique everything that uh, one person does uh, it just makes you look like uh, you're a YouTube uh, keyboard warrior or you've read it all in books or what somebody else on YouTube done and that's where you got all your knowledge because I don't care who you are or how long you've been doing it uh, nothing is ever perfect all the time and I've been running this all a long time not as long as some uh, other people have and I still jack stuff up and make mistakes, no doubt about it. And uh, I think a lot of people forget that. And what kills me is they won't have a YouTube channel. They want to get on everybody else's YouTube channel and talk trash and tell everybody else how bad they've done, but yet they're too scared to uh, do it. So if you've got a problem with the way somebody's doing something or you don't like it, start you up a YouTube channel and do it better. That way people can learn the right way. If you think your way's the right way and then if you get 400,000 subscribers or a million subscribers, then you're doing something right. But if you're a prick and you only get two, then you know you're just an asshole. So, you know, that's just is what it is. But I still appreciate everybody. Uh, I have really good subscribers. I'm not saying that. I just I've read some comments and seen some videos in the last little bit, you know, of uh, different people not people that I watch all the time but some people you know just leaving snotty comments on people I do watch quite a bit and I just think it's ridiculous so anyway uh, all mine subs or everybody that leaves me comments for the most part is really really good and I don't think that uh, the people that do leave like crappy comments are even sub to the channel anyway so their input don't really matter and if it's constructive criticism, by all means, do that. It's okay to weigh in, but if there's a right way and a wrong way to do it. And I know I've said this before, but uh, it just bothers me because I think that uh, people say crappy stuff and then think the YouTuber or whoever's channel it is won't say anything back because they're on YouTube <clears throat> or, you know, whatever. Uh, but I'm going to just up front and foremost I'm gonna be me 
And if you say something don't, I don't like, I'm gonna let you know. And for one and for two, uh, you may not like what I have to say back. If it makes you mad, oh well. Or if you don't like what I'm doing, don't watch the channel. If you do, I appreciate you and I want you to watch the channel. But if you know you ain't gotta subscribe to me, uh, I appreciate it if you would, if you like what you see. But if you absolutely don't like it or think I'm uh, the worst ever at cutting trees or using a saw, then don't watch me. Simple as that. And same with anybody else, I'm sure. So uh, I like doing the YouTube thing, and I appreciate everybody, like say, more than they know. And I want to grow this into a big channel. I know you're going to have. Uh, cruddy comments from different people every once in a while, uh, but uh, just be respectful, you know. Uh, and I know everybody has a bad day. I mean, I'm not all uh, rainbows and candy canes every day, you know what I mean? But, uh, and I can be a asshole sometimes, so that is what it is. Uh, but anyway, the 4C is good feeling saw it really felt stout and the 372 actually shot me the OE it really felt better than the 572 did against this uh, 400 uh, anyway by all means somebody time it and let me know the times in the uh, or I may go back and post them in the comments after I look at it uh, somebody time them and let me know how they done My, uh, still got a cold man it's all in my chest it's terrible but there's my uh, premium firewood I'm going to try to get after I've been out here it took me about an hour to do this and I made a little video of me splitting up I've got some barkless and some with the bark on in case somebody wants to take it in there the bark on I figure is going to be for fire pits and roasting out little campfires and whatnot. and the barkless I figure somebody that's got a small fireplace that maybe lights one or two uh, fires a year like at the holidays or whatever can take it in there and it not be a mess because it's all wrapped up and then cut that open right there at their fireplace there's no bark to spill everywhere and just chunk it in there so anyway uh and this took me about an hour it's forty dollars worth and it's probably a quarter of a, a face cord we'll give or take a little bit you know if you was to stack it all up so you know even if it was a quarter i think it's a little shy times that by 40 that's 160 bucks so i'm dang near doubling most of the time what you get here or actually i'm probably tripling but most time around here you get uh if you deliver uh a face cord which we call it a rick of wood which is four by eight is how we sell it in my neck of the woods you get uh like which gas has went up and everything but when gas was on everything people was getting you know 70 75 bucks a liver stack and all that kind of stuff somebody come got it you'd sell it for you know 45 50 dollars rick uh but this you know it's double tripling the profit and it only took me an hour to do it so that's 40 bucks an hour if i can sell it like that we'll see i don't know anyway we'll catch y'all next one i appreciate everybody like say and uh we're getting close to that 500 giveaway on the echoes and uh Keep on liking, keep on subscribing. See y'all.